All right, well, one of the things I didn't want to do is have to bother you guys with zeroing this thing in, but at a 50 yard, we're getting uh, about a uh, two inch group, which is fine for, you know, whatever. Now it's just shooting slugs. So we are shooting the uh, Fiocchi three gun. This is their uh, 1300 FPS, uh, seven eighths inch. So this is low recoil stuff. I'm gonna, a couple malfunctions, uh, that's a little stupid. But I will tell you this, the interesting thing, because uh, I turned around, been running some of the AA Super Handicap Sports through this guy. Now this has a Timmy Trigger in it. Uh, she's a lot of fun. And uh, you know, for the guys out there at the YouTube Police, this is a five round mag, no big deal. Um, but so, <laughs> When you want a little bit of extra oomph, reaching out and touching some of those clays or some steels, this is my day. Ugh. <laughs> ah, look at that. No rejection. But, watch this. They run pretty good. So the nice thing is, we got this thing zeroed in the 510C. Uh, this is nice 65 MOA ring with the, the uh, two MOA dot. So it's gonna be nice because the ring covers the whole target, dot, you get your steels. Next thing we're gonna do, and I don't even know if I can show it or not, but we're gonna go ahead and test out this uh, other ammo that I can't remember what the hell I got, but uh, at least I know this is a good comfortable fit right here. A lot of people run these things. And then that's it. So the cool other thing is that with the riser that keeps the handguard attached to the upper receiver that keeps the barrel basically in, uh, I don't have to remove the optic. I just take this thing off right here. And it's cool because I keep a drill with the uh, torque wrench attachment. <laughs> Boom, I pull it straight off and we're good. Uh, same thing with the uh, muzzle brake here. Now I'm running a full choke always now, uh, Mr. Uh, Johnny Westbrook and his son have been a great help uh, in uh, getting this thing to run Oscar Campos. I'm just going to go ahead and say everybody's full names. Those guys are awesome. The three gun community is just one of those things that just everybody just wants to help. So what I'm going to do now, <laughs> just the 1150 stuff. This is the low recoil stuff and I got ton of this stuff laying around. Good ejection pattern there. Having fun. So let's go put this thing away. Next thing we're gonna do is get the rifle. Uh, I'm gonna put the, the uh, 60 round. We're gonna load them up, test them. I probably won't put 60 in there. And, I don't have, well, yeah, actually I do. So we'll figure it out. I'll record it. Stand by, here we go. So uh, right there, is a 50 yard, no, 100 yard target with a couple steels, and up there at 200 yards, there's a couple other steels. So, what I try to do, right, I'm gonna bring this back so you can see, is kind of just shoot from a supported on a beam kind of thing like this. But, but I try to do it so I am simulating some kind of, you know, supported position, unsupported kind of thing like that. So, I'm trying to just use the, uh, my 45 degree optic, okay? Um, and like, <laughs> we're in a safe environment. And I'm gonna see if there's a steel up there. Yeah, so I'm running a 200 yard zero, all right? Wow. All right, this is Winchester ammo. 100 yard steels with the 45. Wow. Damn, son. Well, that poor piece of steel uh, concerns me. We may have to do some zeroing on this thing. Huh. All right. Well, at least it runs the Winchester. I'm not sure exactly how accurate it is. So let's do this. I got another piece of paper. We'll put some dots. We're going to go ahead and make sure that the uh, 
this thing is zeroed. I like a 50 yard zero. And then uh, with the 77 grain, let's test that out real quick, real quickly. <laughs> Stand by. I'm only gonna run probably about five or six through this thing. I don't like to give away my 77 grain. <laughs> I know this guy right here, uh, unless something happened with my optic, it is really dead nuts. Maybe we should be shooting from a supportive position prior to doing something like this. But, you know, it ain't raining. It ain't training unless it's raining. Let's do it like this. Well, I knocked the shit out of that thing. With a 200 yard zero on a six inch plate at 100 yards, you want to aim at the bottom. And sometimes better to take your time. All right, let's let's uh, let's set up the target at 50 yards and uh, let's see where that thing's hidden. I don't have any uh, uh, range targets, with, uh, range cameras with me right now, but this is a lot of fun. Here we go. Okay, so I got a half, three quarter inch dot up there at 50 yards. Now, here's the thing. When you run out of 50 yard zero, uh, basically what happens is it comes back down to you at 200 yards. That's why this is a really cool range right here because we do have 200 yards. I'll tell you what, for the money, these isotunes that I'm wearing right now, um, you wear them all day, especially if you're working in the competition. Very comfortable uh, foam earbuds and they work. I have another pair that do not work. So we're gonna figure those out as soon as we can. So let me just do this. I'm not worried about the ballistic coefficient of these things. If they, oh, I'm not worried about these. These are hidden. <laughs> I, I want to check out these Winchester. And maybe not are hidden. Hmm. All right, so let's pull it out the box here. These were the same price as the AAC, uh, but just for shits and giggles, they were, uh, Mike Willis and the boys were experiencing some, some of the jackets of those rounds were coming apart. So what I'll do, this should be hitting just fine. Usually don't have that big of a separation. I wanna see how to group. I know 50 yards is a little bit, but. So this thing's shooting two inches high. But if I'm shooting the plate rack at 100 yards, I'm okay. All right, next, let's talk about the pistol, okay? So there's some other things that can go with this guy, bags. You've got a tripod with a bag. There's a bunch of stuff. Uh, in open division, it's just, it's more fun, ultimately, because at the end of the day, you get to run a shotgun. It's got a 20 round mag. Let's do some pistol stuff. Stand by. All right, so I thought it'd be really interesting to show you this. Uh, so this is the SIG. Legion X5 with all the cool accoutrements on it, okay? This is the Gorilla Tape that I put on here that is just very, very rough. I mean, I just think like I could probably get a laceration from the dang old stuff, so. But what I did was, and I was gonna do a video on this too, laid a piece of paper over top of it and just, you know how you can run it back and forth and you can see what somebody wrote beforehand? And that created my pattern. And then I just put it on the back side of the Gorilla Tape and cut it out. Put this on here. Uh, I did have some economical traction tape, or what do you call it? Uh, it peeled right off. I mean, it just, it, but this stuff right here, take the hair dryer to it. But the thing is, man, it is just very aggressive. Okay, so uh, here's a cool thing. If that doesn't work out, I went ahead and bought some Talon grips. Uh, three day delivery, Amazon, great thing. So, one of the other things about running open division, you don't have to worry about the safari land belt or anything else. Let's get in the shade. But this pistol right here, guys, it is freaking awesome. And the return on it is incredible. Let's go ahead and do this so you guys can see. <laughs> here we go. Man. And now, oh, you know what? That feels good. I was concerned. 
about how maybe it would be a little bit aggressive. I don't know, you can see what my, my hands look like now. But I will tell you this, come up. I'm shooting some clay pigeons over there. Just picking objects. There's this rock. All right, so one of the cool things will, uh, well, let me see this. When I do the Army Craft uh, trigger, let's do, I can't do this, man. This is, whoo, that sun. Where are you? What did I do with it? Ooh, you're hot. So hot, so hot. Sticky, sweet. Roll my head to my feet, yeah. 